Hey you guys, so today I wanted to share with you some of my most used products that like I maybe don't talk about as much. I recently did a tag video where I answered like truthful YouTuber questions and one of the questions was, um, do you use anything that you don't use on camera or don't talk about? And I started kind of thinking and I started going through and I was like, Yes, actually, I do. A lot of these things you might have heard me talk about once or twice kind of thing, but now I'm gonna really shine the spotlight and here we are. Okay, I'm gonna get the kind of like skincare stuff out of the way. So um, my most used dry shampoo, God bless. Briogeo Scalp Revival. Um, so this is their charcoal and biotin uh, dry shampoo. I wanted to switch from using aerosol dry shampoos because I feel like I burned through them so quickly and I was creating a lot of waste because of it. Like literally I could use one of those cans in two weeks, no problem. Whereas with this, I find that it just lasts a lot longer. So it's a powder and it kind of like, it has a little like thing and you just basically squeeze, it comes out like that. It's so interesting because I was reading reviews about this and a lot of people were saying they didn't like this packaging and I was like, the packaging is what I like the most. Because I used to really like the um, Lush No Drought Dry Shampoo, but the, the reason I didn't use it as often is because that packaging was so finicky to me. It was kind of just like a little like flip top, like you just like pushed the little button down and then it, you know? And so you had to kind of like sprinkle it on your hair or like sprinkle it into your hands. And like, it just was really messy. And I feel like I ended up wasting product because of that as well. Whereas with this, it's like you can kind of just like puff it onto your roots and does, Good job, okay. So anyways, that's one of my most used products. I use this almost every day, um, but I don't really talk about it that much. So here you go, it's being talked about. Okay, so this is a product that I've talked about maybe once or twice, but I don't talk about it as often because I have my skincare routine, which is like the routine that I do most days kind of thing. And then this is something that I use like kind of throughout the week, but it's not it's not a routine, so I don't usually include it in videos, but the Drunk Elephant um, TLC Baby Facial is probably one of my favorite skincare products I've ever used in my life. On the back, it said to follow immediately with Drunk Elephant Marula Oil for best results, and I was like, ugh, fuck. Like, I always buy oils, I never fucking use them. I never care. I don't feel like they make a big difference, but I was like, whatever, I'll get the little baby size and like see how it works kind of thing. <laughs> Chef's kiss, magnificent, truly. I look forward to baby facial days. <laughs> I really do because I have my regular skincare routine kind of thing, which I'll do, I'll do like two days of my regular skincare routine, then I'll do the baby facial, like two or three more days of my routine, and then I'll use the baby facial again. So I use it like twice a week and it's like the best evening when I do. <laughs> so this is a mask, it's 25% AHA, 2% BHA, um, and it's just really, really good for like softening up like, um, you know, acne scarring and acne that's just kind of like starting to fade and stuff like that. I feel like it's helped lighten a bunch of my dark spots and stuff. And it just makes my skin feel super, super soft. Um, and I find with this guy, the oil, less is more for sure. Like I, I really, really, really actually like following up with this oil. I feel like they do work really well in conjunction with each other. Um, but I, I find that if I over apply this, I don't like it as much. So I just literally take one drop and smooth it all over my face. And then if I need a little bit more, I'll just like barely put a tiny, tiny bit more on kind of thing. And again, smooth it all over before going back in for more product. And the next morning, I always feel like I have like the nicest skin and it's so like perfect and supple and fresh and delicious. Ugh. Ugh, one of my favorite purchases of the year. I know everyone's gonna be like, yes, Sam, you have mentioned this, but I don't care. I'm still mentioning it. One of my most used Sephora purchases by far is the slit ponytails. I know, dude, I know they're fucking expensive. It's a silk ponytail. So I got the little ones um, online because I almost always have my hair up in some fashion. Um, I, I, I like to dress up for the camera. You know what I mean? I take my hair out of my ponytail. But literally as soon as I turn off the camera, my hair goes up into like a high ponytail or bun. So I wear the little ones all day long. Um, so I ended up getting another pack of them just like to have everywhere. Like I have my car ponytail, my purse ponytail, my desk ponytail, all that kind of shit. So I really, really like the little ones for like kind of during the day, but I ended up picking up the big ones um, for nighttime. I know that you're not supposed to sleep with your hair up at night. However, I want to. 
so I do. I felt like these guys were a little bit harder on my hair at night, so I kind of opted for these, which like are a little bit looser. Um, there's a little bit more of that kind of silk fabric there, obviously, because they're so much bigger. And I do feel like these are super, super gentle on my hair, so I put my hair into a really, really loose bun with this, and I just love it. Like, I've noticed such a difference using these versus like a normal ponytail, because normally like my hair between appointments, I'm like, oh shit, like I need to get back in and see Carl, because my hair is like breaking and you know, just like, like having problems and stuff like that. And I was getting a lot of breakage kind of up here when I was using um, regular ponytails and at the back of my hair as well. And I just noticed that like my hair is not breaking as much. I like that I can have my hair up all day long, whether it's like in a tight ponytail or a loose one, doesn't matter. And I take it out and it's still like not crimped at all. It just, it's great. I just really, really like these ponytails and I'll never use anything else. Ooh. <laughs> This is what I never talk about because I usually don't put my lashes on on camera and when I do this is like the last fucking thing I mentioned so two years ago uh, When I went to Japan for the first time I was I had ran out of lash glue And so I got this lash glue from a brand called DUP and then when I went back to Japan um, last year I like stocked up. I love this lash glue I will never use any other lash glue. I used to really love the House of Lashes glue and then they actually changed the formula and it was so different and I was like, oh no, why did this happen? It was so sad. But this is really similar to the original formula. It just like stays really, really well. I find that it is, um, it doesn't get all screwed up when my eyes are watery and stuff like that. Latex free, all that kind of good stuff. So I really, really love it and um, I use it I mean, every day, that's the only lash glue I use. This one's so funny. I was going through and I was like, what do I use that like I don't like talk about on camera? This is something that I apply basically after every video. I try to do my blush and bronzer a little bit lighter than normal for camera, but then after I just, bronzer. So I am actually wearing this. I have my Fenty bronzer um, in like my kind of contours so to speak and then I have this kind of like brushed all over but this is the nude by nature loose bronzer it's in the lightest shade which is Bondi bronze so it's kind of like this situation here it's just like this loose powder but I love I love this bronzer because I don't feel like it is a color that is weird when you put it on it just is like tan it's a tan color like it's it's great but the thing i like the most about that bronzer is that it's so sheer and so easy to kind of just like put all over the skin wherever you want for like a little bit of extra warmth kind of thing and it doesn't look like too pigmented and too crazy and too over the top so i just find that when i get off camera i'm just like okay i'm gonna bronze up a little bit more and i just usually sweep that over with like a huge brush and just kind of like warm up a little bit more but i use this guy almost every day Ooh, this is one of my favorite um purse lipsticks. So nude sticks, gel color in fate. I, I keep, I keep on me. I stay strapped with the shit, you know, <laughs> you guys are literally going to be like, Sam, oh, how many of these types of lipstick do you need to own? The limit does not exist. This is literally like nothing, but it's the best i can't even describe it. it's it's like just a step above lip balm because a lot of the times i will just wear kind of like a clear lip balm um but i find that this has literally the tiniest tiniest little tint but it's more of a texture thing that makes my lips look more kind of like put together like let's say i was wearing a look like this sometimes just like a clear lip balm looks kind of off and i want a just it's, like so small, tiniest little amount of color ever. I don't want like even a tint. I just want the tiniest little bit so my lips look more even and that's it. And that's like exactly what this is for me. It's the texture is beautiful. It makes your lips look like so plump and full and it literally just evens out my lip color and that's it. Like no, like not a ton of color, not like a ton of whatever. It's just, it's, it's the ultimate. It's the ultimate man. Like I, I can't, I can't stop. <laughs> Can't stop and it won't stop. Ooh, this is another lip product that I don't talk about very often, but this is something that I find I end up adding. A lot of the times when I put on a nude lipstick, I'm like, okay, <laughs> you need to relax. That's far too pale. We're not that person anymore. Let's put, let's, we're gonna, we're gonna put some real lipstick on, okay? So Urban Decay's ex-girlfriend lipstick. You guys might have heard me mention this a couple times, but I don't talk about it a ton a ton the reason why i started to really fall in love with this is because i years ago bought this christian louboutin lipstick that was 
ridiculously expensive. They're like $100 lipsticks. And I, I liked it, but I was like, this is, this is crazy. So I wanted to find something kind of similar that gave me the sort of the same appearance. And that's how I came across Ex-Girlfriend. I love the formula. It's super smooth. It gives a really even application of color. But the thing I like the most about this is it has like a little bit of that rosiness. So I find that it's very universally flattering. And it's something that I end up mixing with a lot of my nude lip colors because I just find that like, I, I gravitate towards really pale, sometimes a little bit more cool toned colors. And then when I put it on, I'm like, <sighs> Okay, I don't think I can wear as much bronzer as I do and wear such a cool toned nude lip. So I love to add that on just to like add a little bit of warmth and stuff like that. And it's something that I just, I end up reaching for a ton. And anytime I put it away, I take it back out the next day. <laughs> Last but not least in my salt palette, which um, is back in stock and you can go pick up if you want. First of all, my salt palette. I love this thing. It's so great. It was perfect for traveling. I said that I would update you guys on that. Um, it was, yeah, it was great. I took this to, where did I go? I think I went a couple different places with this guy already, but anyways, it was great, no problems at all. But I also wanted to talk about these Cosette shadows because they're another product that I don't think I've given a ton of love to on my channel, but they're honestly just so fantastic. Like this is one of the best pressed eyeshadow formulas I've ever tried. They're so like buttery and creamy kind of thing. And they just are so like incredible. If anything, this is probably the closest thing I found to um, the Tarte Chrome Paint, but if you want something that's a little bit less finicky, not that the Tarte Chrome Paints are finicky, but some people just prefer like a more pressed shadow over a looser one. These are phenomenal. Like they honestly are just such, such an incredible formula. They're so reflective. They're so gorgeous on the eye. They're one of those products that every time I wear it, people ask me what I'm wearing and I, I love those products. So you guys, that is all for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would love to know what you feel like your most used products are so you can let me know in the comment section below i will see you guys next time peace out